So what I'm going to demonstrate is the way I do temples. Um, I'm using Restylin 50-50 with lidocaine or 50-50 with saline, it doesn't really matter. I'd like it to be between the superficial temporal fascia and the superficial layer of the deep temporal fascia. So that means you have to go through the SNAS and then it should be a glide plane, an alveolar plane. I use a 22 gauge cannula, I use soft fill, that's my preference. And I use the easy guide system here. So I like the 22 gauge because the larger the cannula, the less likely it is to pierce the vessel. And now I'm gonna pierce the SNAS, okay? And it's a tough layer, but once you're into the, see now I popped into the SNAS. And now that should be a glide plane and it should go very easily into that plane. And you see, right now the cannula is right here. And I take it all the way up to the temporal fusion line. And now I'm going to do a, a retrograde approach to that. And I'm constantly moving. Okay? That's the key. So constantly moving. And it's a retrograde. So now I'm doing retrograde. And I like the diluted wrestling because it smooths it out a little bit better. Now I'm going into the hairline, okay? Constantly moving, and I'm almost done here. This is the, so behind the hairline. And if you're in that plane, you should be below the superficial temporal artery. There should be no vascular problems in that plane. I'm gonna put a little bit more, there's a little bit of space right there that I need to get to. Mm -hmm. Again, um, I'm gonna pop through the SNAS, okay? There's a little bit, and now I'm through the SNAS. And now I'm gonna go back here, sorry. And I'm gonna inject a little bit back here back to the hairline. And there we go. So, it's an interfascial uh, plane that I like to do. It's between the superficial temporal fascia and the superficial layer of the deep temporal fascia. That should be a glide plane. It should be avascular, and it creates a very robust correction but it's a great correction for the temple. You can also get into the brow that way, and you can get into the supraorbital area as well. So what you're gonna notice, try to raise your brows. So you notice that this brow doesn't raise. And the reason being is that the uh, frontal branch of the facial nerve goes through that glide plane uh, in the alveolar tissue. So I'm numbing it up with this filler. So that means that I was in the right plane. Now I'm doing the opposite side in a similar fashion, placing the diluted wrestling in the interfascial plane, which gives a robust result. On this view, you see the results the following day, and you see there's a smooth transition between the temple and the temporal fusion line, as well as the zygoma. Here is a high frequency duplex ultrasound of the correction showing the superficial temporal artery lying superficial to the HA filler. So the superficial temporal artery lies in the SMAS or the superficial temporal fascia. And you see the SMAS with the HA filler below it. So basically the HA filler is between the SMAS or the superficial temporal fascia and the superficial layer of the deep temporal fascia as seen in the ultrasound.